Hello all, welcome to oratorynews.com. In this session, we'll discuss about grouping in RTF template using single group approach as well as multi group approach of data model. So we'll try to understand what is this grouping report and what are the steps required to design a, using a single group temp, single group logic and what are steps required to design using a multi group approach. Okay. So now. In this particular grouping report, right? Why why do we call it as grouping report? One simple example why we call it as grouping report because whenever we want the data to be displayed in a master child fashion or header lines format, we call it as a group report. Ideally, this group report will be based on multiple tables. So, like um, of course, using a single single particular table also we can design. But generally, when like there is a chance that like you may have you know like a header lines kind of a combination. Now, in this example, we are considering a sales order tables like a uh, DVO headers all and DVO lines all for each header we'll have multiple lines and of course we have joined with the headset like operating unit business unit table so we just want to achieve a functionality wherein we just display header header or order number on the top and below will just show multiple lines so that's the concept of a group report okay so now so there are multiple ways of achieving this particular grouping like a group report logic in this particular sample now here if you observe we just mentioned only one group and we just mentioned the query, the same query which we have used in the slide three. This is a query, and here we just have only one group. So using this approach, how we can how we can design a group report? That's what we'll discuss now. So this is a data model, and now these are the steps involved. Like uh, first of all, you have to log into BI Publisher, mention the query, get the sample data, and then what we the, what the important step here we have to do is step number four here. If you observe while performing a table using a wizard we just need to mention on which attribute you want to perform a group by you have to mention that particular grouping attribute and based on that it will generate a grouping logic automatically and then you can just preview it and once if you think it is good you can just upload the template to the instance so let us see the template how it looks like so here if you observe whenever you perform a grouping group by logic so it will mention like it will create it will create a grouping a grouping for loop on the top and inside that you'll just have the child data so now here group g underscore one is a grouping logic all the data in the particular data model will be, get grouped by based on this particular column and then remaining will remaining will get repeated for each order number and now here we just we can you know, like uh, we can just format this order number business unit manually by just creating the elements manually okay this is how we can design using a single group now what is this multi group so now coming to the multi yeah let us see the output also this is how this output we will try to design today now okay so on the top you will see order data and the below you'll see line data okay now coming to the multi group so here if you observe the same query what we have done is we have divided the data into multi groups so org name and order number we have divided into g2 and the below is a g3 like this is a parent and this is a child so in this kind of scenario how how the template design will differ let us see that so almost all the steps are same but if you see the step number four what are we trying to do is we are trying to insert child loop or a child data in the parent group so here if you observe the org name data we have one table inside that we'll have child child table so this is a difference between a multi-group as a single group so which is best i can say like both are best it all depends upon what query you have it based on that you have to design it okay now this is how it the template looks like on the top you have one for loop and inside that particular for loop inside the table you have one more particular chain table and that's how it will work and data wise output wise both are same that's it okay now let us see the steps like let us see design the report now manually from the scratch okay so now this is a query so we'll navigate to the reports so to navigate the reports what we have to do we just need to click on tools report and analytics And click on browse catalog okay and now what we do we'll just go to custom and we'll just go to ghi klm o for our trainings okay now here in this particular folder i'll just click on create data model so i'll save the report first save the let us save the data model first.
sales order group dm okay click on okay now copy the query so as of now i just i'm not considering any parameter so i just hard coded the things like uh, i'll just try to fetch the data of only 100 records now select sql query here and i'll say gn this put sales order d or data so assume this is your single group logic okay this is a single group project so we i'll not change anything in the group stuff now so i'll click on data and just can click on view we should be able to see the data Let's see if the right. Let me remove this and see whether we'll try to fetch out like uh, which particular business unit is having data so that we can see that particular data. Okay, I think I would have mentioned like this is the wrong stuff. Okay, so it is not hard like uh, this is not uppercase, right? That's the issue. Okay. So this is our query. We'll try to fetch the data of only this BU. Click on data and try to fetch 50 records. Click on table view. As of now, we'll click on save. It's a flattened data. There is no grouping logic here. Now, what we do, click on export. So this will generate an XML data. Copy this particular XML file and we'll try to copy to one of the folder where we are trying to work on the template. So now in this particular, now the next step is we have to design the template, right? So click on blank document and save the template. And I prefer to save the template in the same folder where we have our data model. I'll just say sales order group TMPL and the file extension is RTF. So now click on BI publisher, click on sample XML, load the data, and we could should see that data loaded successfully. Then click on table wizard and now click on table. And here we have only one group, it shows only that G underscore one. Click on next. Select all the columns which are you want to see in the output. Click on next. Now here comes the group by option. It says group above, group left couple of options are there i'll select order number group above so that our order number will be shown on the top if you see if you click on group left order number will be shown left side that's only difference click on next i don't want to do any sorting click on next and finish so now automatically this group above came here and we see this order number here right and now we can just sim simply click on preview html and we should be able to see the data in a group above logic right and of course we can do the formatting and let us say in the top level, if you want to do a particular let, let kind of formatting, right? What you can do is here, you can just click on insert table and you can just insert the columns. I prefer to mention order number here. And let's say org name also I want to mention here. Okay. And I'll say order number BU name. Like this, I can change it. And I can remove this column. And we can change the layout. So as of now, you know, like the columns are not formatted properly. That's why it is showing in an improper format, but we can change all of them. So what we can do, we can just change. And other thing is we don't want to, we don't need to show our guide actually, right? We don't need to show our guide. We can just remove that or else we can simply ignore for now. Click on BI publisher, click on HTML. And we were able to see the or number be your name like this one by one. But what is the logic behind here? You can just see this, click on group by column and you can just click on field browser and you can see the logic here. So the data in the G underscore one is automatically grouped by order number, by the template. Okay, so that's the, that's the reason for each order number, it will group the data and based on that, it will get the lines. And if you see the for loop of this particular one, so I'll just click here and click on, yeah. So it says simply current group, that's it. It says simply current group, okay. And now this is ending at this place and this F is ending at this place. So this is how we can design using a single grouping. Now let us try the other one also. So other one, the same query, no change at all. 
and what we can do is we can use a new data model or we can simply try to create here itself so i'll click here click on new data set sql query and i'll say g sales order using multi data model fscm okay save it and now here what we want to do is you can select the columns which you want to perform group by select org name or member and click on this gear icon and click on group by so now what happens is the selected columns will will be created as a parent group and the and the remaining will be created as a child group so or org id also we can just move it or you can leave it as it is it's not a problem now click on save and you can see the structure also so here if you observe this is the first this is the first single group logic and now here if you observe this is the second group logic and here this particular g sales order using multi data model the g underscore 3 is part of g underscore 2 g underscore 3 is a child g underscore 2 is a master we can change this grouping names if you have any confusion or you can just simply go with as is with auto generated group names okay now what we do click on data and here we'll go with 50 records save it and export the sample data so let us get the latest sample file now i'll group here so that it will replace this file and you can see this particular file now okay so this g1 g1 and you can observe the g yeah, g2 is a parent and if you observe g3 is child and inside g2 if you observe this for this two order number 29876 we have two lines okay now let us see the logic of designing a template with a multi group right so we can create in the same template or it better you create a new template so i'll just create a new template control n and i'll save the template first of all select sales order multi group template okay now so it, this is a little bit different okay so first what we do is click on ba publisher load the sample data data model now click on table wizard and what is a parent group g2 is our parent group so here if you observe in this one g2 is a parent group and where we have org name as well as order number so table and here you simply select only g2 select g2 click on next and select only org name and order number next don't perform any group by here next and finish that's it now so next thing is so let the let the parent is independent and now what we do click on table using a wizard again click on select the table click on next and here now this time you select the g3 click on next select all the columns maybe you can remove the org id which we don't want to have it and that's it click on next next and finish no grouping so now independent parent as child independent parent as well as child were created now next thing what you do is here in the parent group just perform tab out so that it will create a new record again perform one more tab out it will create one more record so now this particular one select these two columns and perform a merge and now you just simply cut cut this child and paste here cut the child and paste here okay and now the parent end the parent end attack cut that and paste here and also you just merge these two also okay what we have done we just created independent parent and child and then the parent record we just created two record two, uh, two records and we have merged the first record in that we just cut paste the child loop and in the second record we just merge the cells and also we mention the end of the parent for loop that's it and let us see the html preview and we'll get the same data here okay and maybe you know here if you observe visually to observe this data it seems like and you can see like uh, it's showing multiple borders right you can just disable them all of them but technically or visually everything is like uh, you can it it's same you don't find any difference here 
Okay, so this is how we can design using a multi-group logic. So depending upon the project, depending on the requirement, you may ha have to go with either first approach or second approach. Of course, you'll find multiple other approaches also. This is one of the approach which I like. These are some of the approaches which I came across, but uh, you'll find other approaches also wherein you like. You may have independent SQL queries, independent groups, and using that also you can design it. But for now, let us stick to these two these two logics, and later on we can discuss some other logics. Okay, thank you.